here to try to grab that spot at BlizzCon. And $50,000, 79% of you think Method Black is going to be able to take it. We find out right now. Swapsy, easily the best contender for the best World of Warcraft 3v3 player in the game. Method Black are going to have him on his starting lineup playing the Outlaw Rogue Elemental Shaman. Let's see how much damage they can really dish out. Swapsy early on landing a lot of Chain Lightnings. Now potentially a swap to Looney. Waz is completely unafraid, just leading the charge for his team at this point. Yeah, Waz likes to put those stuns all over the place keeping his opponents guessing full blind on Looney. That actually breaks, unfortunately, so Looney's not going to have to make the hard choice with his trinket. Unfortunately for Method Black, is going to be taking a little bit of damage as he moves forward midfield, trying to put some pressure out onto Swapsy, but you can see Chaz, he's just spamming out the clarity of Wills, and Swapsy is going to be taking no damage. Yep, really good healing from Chaz, excellent positioning from Swapsy to realize that that blind breaking means they're going to lose all momentum. They'll just pull back, wait for another opportunity later on. This pirate composition is all about hit and run, try and push forward, pillage as many cooldowns as you can, and then evacuate, wait for a good opportunity to swap again. We see Blizzo actually going after Chaz, trying to get a bit of a surprise attack of his own, bursting him down about 50%, but he can easily escape. Blizzo now immediately knowing that rolls back to a different target to try and work on shutting down the damage of Swapsy. You can see mana slightly in favor as Chaz, as both teams are kind of playing in a neutral position. Waz is trying to set something up here with a stun onto Looney into a gouge, but Walrix just portals away. Grappling hook to reconnect. Walrix can use the gateway. Actually, I'm not sure if he has secured a gateway yet on this map. He definitely wants to look to do that very soon, or he's not going to have an evacuation method. Look at Chaz, he's playing this so smart, just being very efficient. Finally, moving in for a fear, not gonna land it, not gonna overextend though. Just gonna be healing with the smites, with the penance, keeping his mana very high in this matchup. Hex gonna be used over on a loony from Swapsy, nice crowd control coming in. Blizzle's a little bit low right now, but really in no danger with all his defensive cooldowns and his trinket available. Chaz moving into a more offensive position, landing a double fear there as they make a big swap over on the loonies. He's caught between the guys. Big damage going out. He trinkets. I think he actually trinketed air there. He's panic mode for Looney as Method Black puts out tons of damage. That was an insane swap. That's not the plunder armor, and I believe Blind is coming off cooldown at this point as well, which means almost anybody on XRB to the moon is going to be erased from the game. Swapsy's damage is so high, he's just pushing Blizzo over by himself in the back corner. Chaz with great positioning to drag Blizzo so far away from Looney. Now Looney has to make the decision to keep Urshad on himself. I can imagine that's the best move, whereas Blizzo can easily trinket in Karma. Walrus can unending resolve that he needs to keep Urshad on himself, but it means he's going to spend a lot of mana healing a target that doesn't have it for an extended period of time, and Swapsy knows that. That's why he's just hammering away at both Walrix and Blizzo with no Earth Shield. Looney, there's the swap over from Waz. Is Looney ready for it? He's got Earth Shield onto himself right before the gouge. Chaz is moving in as well, but Blizzo peels him off with a double fist of fury. Chaz lands the double fear. Blizzo now caught into the stun. They're going to swap over to him, trying to catch Looney off guard. Looney not getting winchered on these healing waves and manages to survive that swap, but the threat of the plunder armor from Waz is still available. Yeah, the Windwalker Monk going to be very tanky, so Looney can afford to not throw the Earth Shield on him right away, even though he's low. Walrix down to around 60% HP. Waz putting out good pressure by himself. The split strategy, once again, we always see Method Black utilizing. Waz can charge in, get damage for his team. Meanwhile, Chaz and Swapsy can create pressure on someone else. There's a stun on Looney. Can they find the damage? Chaz and Swapsy looking for it, but good peels coming from Blizzo onto Waz. The stun lock will get interrupted, and Looney will survive. Good peels there by Walrus. Now there's the full blind with no trinket stun on the Blizzo. This has to be a trinket. He's being very greedy to try and sit through it with no plunder armor committed, and he manages to connect the Touch of Karma without using trinket. Still, this plunder armor, Waz has not been able to find an opening throughout this whole period of time that Looney hasn't had a trinket, and now they're going to be falling slowly behind here as Looney's trinket comes up in just a short 14 seconds. Looney just needs to duck behind the corner and avoid Waz for that time. We see stuns onto Walrix as Method Black are going to have to reorganize their plan. Yeah, Looney's mana not doing too bad. Actually, ahead of Chaz in this situation, even though Chaz is playing very mana efficient, that's really going to be the strength of that Windwalker Lock Shaman composition. Blizzo in midfield, putting out some pressure onto Waz, trying to punish him for being on Walrick, but really not able to accomplish too much. Now turning his attention over onto Swapsy, but Chaz is in just a, such a good position to throw out heals right now. He's really not falling behind. All right, Walrick's using Nether Ward there to try and dodge some damage at the end of that stun. Blizzo sitting on top of Chaz, trying to maybe just get the Vim off of him and reduce his healing by 20% with his Fist of Fury, but Waz stuns him up instantly on that Fist of Fury, denying the extra damage. Walrix portals out of line of sight, Swapsy on top of Looney. Waz grappling hooks in. They've managed to kill Walrix's Fell Hunter. He's going to gate across and look to try and resurrect that, but it's not a very long distance gateway. Swapsy can easily interrupt this still. He jumps in line of sight. He fake casts, but did he actually soak the wind shear? I'm not entirely 
entirely sure. Now Warks is still trying to get counter pressure, but he's still in trouble. He's got no Fell Hunter. Tons of damage. Blizzo is trying to peel Waz away as well as he's overextending both members in a lot of trouble currently. Big Earth Shock crit from Swap, so Walrus stays alive, but a full fear to follow it up. He's trinkets out of that. He portals back behind the pillar, but the penances are flying in. The grappling hook got paralysis by Blizzo before he could connect. Perfect timing on that paralysis. Now he's getting disable rooted as well. Walrus still is having a difficult time trying to get the Fell Hunter. We see a swap now over to Looney. That's the black are all over the place trying to keep Looney off guard. Blizzo moves over to try and support. Looney hangs on it. Dangerously low health, but I believe should be able to survive now recovering as Waz is forced back. That paralysis from Blizzo was absolutely insane. It actually saved the unending resolve from Walrush, so very nicely done. Dampening is now kicked in. We are at 3%. Gets more difficult for these healers as time goes on. Walrush going to be caught to a stun. Waz still just trying to create pressure there, but they're really looking for those opportunities on Looney when they can. Full blind on Looney. Stun on Walrush. He has no unending resolve. No trinket. Can they find the damage? Looney trinkets out of the blind. Doesn't want Walrush to go down in this situation. No trinket. He was very vulnerable. Oh, they've been keeping this Fell Hunter pressure on Walrush throughout the game. Without that pet, he can't interrupt important casts. He needs to get that Fell Hunter back alive as soon as possible and as much as possible. He's ducking behind the corner. Swapsy jumps in and lands the wind share. This completely shut Walrush down on this Warlock. Goes for the Nether Ward. Jumps back into the middle of the map so that he can portal back beside Looney if he needs to. Swapsy Earth Grab roots Looney at the pillar for Chaz to cross the map to fear out of the stun. But Blizzo is intercepting. But Walrus is the one who's dipping low. Hellstone and on any resolve have to be overlapped by Walrus. He gets Thunder stormed on the resurrect of his fell hunter during that period of time he would normally have war mastery he portals back to get the fell hunter he gets stunned by was one second before it finishes walrus is completely shut out of the game by method black he's still unable to resurrect that pet blizzo is falling behind and method black are on fire method black is doing such a good job walrus in desperation right now looney doing everything he can to keep him alive but this is looking so good for method black gouge on walrus are they gonna make a swap over on the looney big pressure out on him pistol stun well, between the eyes looney taking a whole bunch of damage but the paralysis once again from blizzo it's going to save the day, or is it? Not a stun on Looney. Do they have any follow up? So is the Astral Shift and the Spirit Link. Doesn't use them. Oh. Be too greedy. Astral Shift finally going to be forced out. Blizzard with the leg sweep on Waz as well. Going to be slowing down that damage, but Method Black was able to force out a lot of defenses. All right, Waz is overextended with no trinket. Chaz is dipping below Vim range, and right now, XRB to the moon are slowly building momentum on their side. Chaz tries to deflect with Archangel Rapture. He can spam big power word shields onto his team for a small amount of time. Gouge on Looney. Waz is setting up for the kill. Will Blizzo be able to deflect? in time. Urshock into a full pistol stun. Great setup. Tricks of the trade activated. Bonus damage for Swapsy. Huge chain lightnings come crashing in as Looney is hanging on by a threat. Perfect setup is going to force the Spirit Link Totem from Looney. The last line of defense out of the way as Method Black inch closer to victory. They can still just claim it here and now. This gateway will take Looney into the center of the map. Swapsy will have free reign. Looney is pinned down. Yeah, Looney's in a lot of trouble. Waz tried to do a very cheeky plunder armor there. He actually committed at the last, like, 15% HP Looney had, but the Spirit Link Totem came in very clutch. So Waz isn't going to have that available for quite some time. There's a leg sweep on a Waz. Big swap coming in from Blizzo. Walrus able to get a little bit of damage as well. He gets stunned on the trinket. Waz should be fine. Spamming out the feint. Chaz is in range to heal him up now. As both Swapsy and Chaz were in full retreat. I like what Blizzo's doing, making sure he can punish Waz when he is overextended from his teammates. All right, Blizzo is chasing Chaz, trying to deny a drink. His mana is swinging in favor of Method Black as well. Walrus needs to get a lot of damage done very soon if they want to take a win here. The Fell Hunter going down, but he's able to get resurrected quite quickly this time. Blizzo is keeping up the pressure. Swapsy's forced to retreat away, but now Blizzo is stunned up, taking a ton of damage from Swapsy. Waz grappling hooks over to Walrus. Now that grappling hook threat not available for Looney. He can put her shield onto a different target and save his mana. Currently Earthshield on Walrix. Waz is in trouble with no Cloak of Shadows. Paralysis. Blizzo is flying over for that Fist of Fury. Chaz trinkets and grips Waz back to the pillar saving the day. That was an overlap though. Waz used his trinket as well when he didn't need to. Stun now on the Blizzo. He has the trinket. He has the karma. He should be fine. Like I said, 22% dampening. Waz is very vulnerable with no trinket available. Chaz has no trinket available. They can get one good crowd control chain and a stun on Waz. They could close out this game. XRB to the Moon's pressure is mounting at this time in the get match. Perfect portal time by Walrix as soon as Looney was crowd control. He portals out now. He's moving in. Waz caught into another leg sweep. Chaz drops the barrier to reduce incoming damage on Waz. Penance is flying in to heal him back up, but it's only maintaining his health. His dampening is ramping up to 25% healing reduction. Chaz still has the mana lead. Waz is really the opening target here for XRP, but there's the blind. Let's see if Looney commits the trinket. Blizzo is just going to pre-port back behind the pillar. He pre-walls this stun, but I'm not sure if that will be enough. That this how far into dampening, there's a ton of damage as Blizzo could make a critical throw here and will ultimately go down. Looney out of position to save him, but the Black are looking to take game number one as it is very unlikely that Walrix will take Swapsy down. Method Black dominating performance in game one.
the only two undefeated teams in this tournament, and they are going to put a show on for us in the blind pick. And I think the main thing that we need to talk about right now, Zico, is definitely these two compositions. What are they trying to do to win? We're, we're getting deep into dampening even in this first one. Well, the Method Black's game plan is to switch around between the targets, find an opportunity for Waz to get that uh, big compass buff, which reduces his cooldown and allows him to stun up everybody. And then they want to just surprise people with the Elemental Shaman Burst. And they want to be switching back and forth between the Shaman, the Warlock, and the Windwalker, finding opportunities to force out these trinkets. And then they want to find that big blind go or that big plunder armor setup. On the side of XRB to the moon, they are playing the defense. They want to just be shutting down these opportunities opportunities, uh, do, uh, use the paralysis onto Waz, onto Swapsy, and try to prolong, prolong the game and run the clock down, because anytime there's a Discipline Priest versus the Affliction Warlock, the Discipline Priest, if, if the game goes long enough, should be the one that loses. Yeah, it really is interesting to look at the composition that Method Black is playing and saying, okay, yes, it obviously has the setup potential of having a Rogue, right? It, it definitely does still have that, but you pair Outlaw Rogue with the elemental and all of a sudden there are so many opportunities for damage to come out of thin air as well so the pressure that it can put on is is twofold for sure and i think we are going to see that when we actually take a look right now at what went down in that first game yeah, and I think the most important thing and the most impressive thing that Method Black does is what they are doing right here. They are just pinning down Looney and finding opportunities to find crowd control onto Looney and force out big CDs without committing either plunder or blind. Because when they force those cooldowns without using that, all of a sudden you have yourself set up for a checkmate situation where you can fully blind somebody and take the game. And it all starts off with Waz in the middle between Looney Looney and Warwick's gonna be dropping that big pistol stun onto Looney. And then you can see here, Chaz is making his way forward. Blizzo is aware of that, so he's trying to slow Chaz down. And it's up to Swapsy and Waz really to, first of all, get the offensive pressure going here onto Warwick's, but also to give Chaz enough time to make his way there by crowd controlling. And look at what Waz does here. This is amazing. He trinkets out of the Paralyzed, re-leaps over to Looney. There's the Gouge as well. Swapsy's gonna be following that up with the Hex. He cheap shots Blizzo as well. And there's the full fear. They get rewarded with the unending resolve as well. And all of a sudden you find Method Black in the situation where they are forcing out the big, big cooldowns without actually committing anything of their own, except for really the, just the tricks of the trade. So if they can repeat that scenario, they can windle down the cooldowns from the, uh, the team of XRB to the moon and find themselves in a situation where they can kill. And honestly, the kill kind of came at the back of a mistake of Loon he doesn't want to trink it here because all of a sudden Blizzo can go scales in dollar and sewers I'm not fully sold on this composition I feel like Method Black have great ways to crowd control wave the crane they have psychic scream they can cover hex with stuns so if Method Black have good cross crowd control they can take Looney's wave the crane threat completely from this match yeah Waz charging in zap on Looney they want to get aggressive right away all three members of Method Black on Blizzo Chaz going to be mounting in for a nice fear on the Looney they're looking for that damage stun over on the z by right away Looney still caught into the fear. z guys goes down to around 50% HP, but he should be fine. Looney able to just free cast some heals for now, but that was a good opener for Method Black. Yep. Decent pressure, but not really pulling any major defensive cooldowns. They swapped to Blizzo for a moment. Looney's getting primed and ready, but there's a lot of chain lightning out of nowhere from Swapsy taking the entire team down to half health, but Looney can reset his team's health with that way of the crane. He's building up stacks with Tiger Pop. He's ready to do a blackout kick. It's going to hit three times and heal his whole team basically back to full in a second here. Looney's team bounces back, and now they've got the bonus damage, but he gets like screamed on it. Perfect crowd control from Chaz as they swap to Blizzo. Whoa, what my just goodness, happened what? to Blizzo? He just got deleted, deleted from the game. His character doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. It's called Plunder Armor. <laughs> Tricks of the trade, Plunder Armor, Elemental Shaman. One good setup is all they needed. And they were able to take Blizzo down. This is what we're talking about when you bring in <laughs> a relatively inexperienced composition against what Method Black has. These guys play so many games as this comp. They know their win conditions. Ooh, was that just plunder or was that a big roll too? I think that Blizzle just walked the plank Dude. there, honestly, because <laughs> that Blizzle was, must, have that been, must have been in the Avengers. Looney, I don't feel so good. <laughs> 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 that was not a good moment there for Blizzle. That, uh -oh. is, that is tough, and now you can see him. Oh, man. 
Wow, hey, you, know, you can see Waz just enacting the walking the plank right now. That was absolutely insane, absolutely insane, and I can't wait to watch the replay of that. I mean, that is going to put them so far ahead in this series, Seiko. Yeah, at this point, it's 0-2. You're gonna have to beat Method Black and they're gonna have the two, they're gonna have two opportunities essentially to counter comp XRB if they manage to win the games here. So right now, and they did manage to reverse sweep that and we gotta see what happened here. So Looney has his way of the crane active right now. He gets feared on the way of the crane. Earth uh, shock stun from Swapsy. Big lights wrap. They will Plunder be a devastating armor. force in the lower bracket of Method Black can clean sweep them, but Method Black a complete roster in the summer finals, the last tournament of Legion and they are looking completely unbeatable. We saw XRB to the moon with a reverse sweep yesterday, so definitely not off the table just yet. Waz going to be moving in, looking like he wants to open on someone. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Uh, just sitting there with Looney, just waiting, playing it patient. We will cheap shot Walrick, not allowing him to replace his gateway, putting out a little pressure there. I like that. Doesn't want to allow Walrick to get that perfect gateway position. Swapsy winning the 1v1 on Blizzard as Waz makes a swap back. This is match point. Tons of damage. Looney is ready and waiting, timing those healing waves perfectly to allow Blizzo to immediately recover. Walwork's pushing in. Now he's going to get swapped over to Earthshield. Has to be changed over. We see Blizzo pressuring Chaz. This game a lot more early on with this Fist of Fury. Walwork's moves in to doth him up. Waz now stacked up, though, for a double leg sweep. Good punish by Blizzo early on. Strike of the Windlord swap over to Waz. Bursting him down, but Waz makes a swap of his own with a double psychic scream from Chaz. Lights Wrath. If this Lights Wrath goes off, it could be a ton of damage on Looney. Down to 20%. Paralysis on to Waz. Buys Looney. Time to breathe back behind the tombstone. Nice peels from Blizzo once again. And we actually saw Waz use that plunder armor immediately. First swap on a Blizzo. Very uncharacteristic of him. He usually uses it with very, like, a high precision, but there it was kind of just wasted almost. So really, XRB to the moon, they're not going to have to worry about that. There's a full blind onto Looney. Is he going to trinket Blizzo once again into a full stun? It seems like Method Black has found their target, forcing out that touch of karma. Sap going to be used over onto Looney as well. They might be able to CC Looney through this, get more cooldowns from Blizzo. Yeah, and if they can get any follow-up, no follow-up available, Blizzo will survive a fair and equal trade for him with that touch of karma. Still having trinket to escape the situation with plunder armor in about 50 seconds. That's going to be what Method Black looked to line up. Right now, they're pressuring Walrix, just trying to force the Earth Shield swaps constantly from Looney to keep a mana advantage. Chaz is positioned far away from the fight, not likely to get any psychic screams until we see him start sneaking across the map. Right now, he's very content to just passively play in that puddle of ooze, dispelling off the dots, trying to stay ahead of the damage. Looney positioned very far away. He pre-Earthen Shield totemed, expecting a stun there, so that Earthen Shield totem won't be available to protect as they set up for a swap right as it ends. Perfect timing from Method Black, but perfect peels from both Blizzo and Walrix to completely stall that out. Yeah, that go, though, was just allowed Chaz to drink. He sat down, didn't want to play offensive, and got full mana. Not a bad spot to be in for Method Black. He's just going to be spamming out the smites to heal up his team. On that pet, we talked about how Swapsy tunnels down that pet. Chaz is doing an excellent job as well. Now Waz looking for some damage over onto Walrick, but once again, Swapsy and Chaz not really in a spot to help him out too much. Walrick's pet's actually dead. He's able to get out the Fell Hunter right away, and there's going to be no denial there from Method Black. That's going to be uh, good news for Walrick because they make a big swap over onto Chaz, getting him down to around 50% HP. Barrier is going to be dropped off. Chaz wants to get that Vim back up once again if he is playing that talent to increase his healing. See a setup on Looney and Waz gets punished. Good teamwork from Blizzo taking a page out of Chun-Li's book and trying to play back up for his healer. Waz is not able to get anything done with that attempt. And now we're in a position where XRB to the moon have trinkets on all three players and major defensive cooldown. So they can deflect an attack, but they need to be careful. If they can bait out a trinket here, that will be deadly later on. Blizzo is being safe though. Looney times the heals, picks him back up. Good recovery. Yeah, Looney's going to be have to, uh, might have to be careful with his mana a little bit later on in this game. Meth Black's doing a good job bouncing around, but so far, XRB to the moon is doing a good job deflecting it. Big swap on Looney, though. Pistol stun into cheap shot into Gauss, and they take him down! Whoa. What was that damage? The game-winning gouge coming in from Waz, denying anything from Looney. That was absolutely insane. He, he just turned Looney into a volleyball. He just served him up. And Swapsy just spiked him down. <laughs> that gouge. I can't believe I got to see the replay. I, I looked over back at Method Black the second that that happened, and Raikou obviously not in the game. You just see him look on the other side of the stage just to see the reaction of the other team. What a crazy, crazy finish. A 3-0 coming out from Method Black, completely undefeated here in Poland. They're going to the grand final. Oh, my goodness, Eko. I mean, this is such a... Uh, you just can't do anything if you're XRB to the moon. When Method Black are playing at this level, they... Chess stays back, 
Blizzo has to go on to Chaz, otherwise he's gonna keep drinking, he's gonna keep prolonging the game and keep that outlaw rogue rolling. And you know, when they go on to Chaz, they uh, Method Black goes on to Blizzo, forces Looney to overextend a little bit, go out in the open. All of a sudden, there is a fear onto Blizzo and Warwick, and Looney is the one getting swapped to, and they don't commit plunder. They're not using blind here. So if you truly see it right now, you see Blizzo and Warwick going on to Chaz, taking off that Vim. Waz tricks of the trade, sheep shot, uh, stun into sheep shot into the pistol stun into the gouge, and look at Swapsy, he gets. Today, we're determining who is going to play against Method Black in the grand final, and then we settle the score and crown our champion in the final Legion tournament in the summer finals. And XRB to the moon now have dropped down to the lower portion of the bracket. That is the first match that they have lost here in the tournament.